So, <clears throat> we've got our props. I believe you have yours too. But this is awesome. So, first of all, explain where your belief that the Earth is flat comes from. Sure. My belief where the Earth... Where the Earth is flat comes from five different reasons, real fast. Uh, one, long-distance photography, which is if it is a globe, then we shouldn't be able to see as far as we can with high-def cameras. Two would be gravity versus the vacuum of space, meaning the atmosphere should be sucked out into space almost instantly. The power of the vacuum cannot be defeated by gravity. Third would be the eclipse shadow. The eclipse shadow, it's the wrong size. The, the moon is 2,000 miles wide, and yet the moon shadow is only 70 miles wide. That's a 97% de decrease. It can't happen. Fourth would be the temperature of the moon, and I know we're pressed for time, so I'll rattle off real quick. The temperature of the moon. The moon generates a cold light. Look it up yourself. And fifth would be the Van Allen radiation belts. Uh, Van Allen radiation belts are super deadly. How did the American space pro program go through it? Round trips. Nobody died. Go nobody got even got cancer. There's still five of them walking around today. How's that? Good. I think you know that. Thanks okay. for coming on. Mark. I'm in. <laughs> I do have a couple of other questions, Dave. Okay. Uh, flat <laughs> Good night, <Earthers>. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> like yourself, flat earthers believe that we are actually living in a dome. So, can you explain to us how that works? And the, like the ice. Simpsons, right. There's an ice wall. Is that right? Sure, sure, sure. Okay. So the mainstream globe proponents believe that you are on a little rock with water that sticks to the outside of it that's flying through five different directions. Right? You can get rid of that. What we think is that you are living in a building, a structure, a planetarium, a terrarium, just like this. It's a little, little bit of a snow globe with walls and a floor and a ceiling, and that the, all the continents look pretty much the same, with, with the exception of Antarctica, which is stretched around the entire outside, not like a Game of Thrones ice wall, but a very, very large continent that goes on for thousands of miles inland. Yeah. So there's white walkers out there. Um, so then, when I was growing up, <laughs> right, when I was growing up, Mark, and, I, right. and, and we see shots of space, and we live in a solar system with planets, and all the planets are round. Round. So then how come we're flat, and they're round, right. or am I not seeing well, the we, right when thing? When we see shots of the Earth from space, from space, it's a sphere. Well, there you go. Uh, somebody's got to be lying. And if you believe the American space program, well, you have another thing coming. Uh, what I'm saying is that NASA has been fabricated since minute one to basically keep this thing under wraps. The sun and the moon and the stars and the planets are just part of a light show. No different than if you went to a planetarium and looked up on the ceiling. I mean, the technology is much, much better. We've been doing planetariums since the 1970s. But can I remember, we've only been, had HD technology for the last 20 years. Imagine what we could do in the next 100. So whoever built this, way more advanced than us. Wait, who built it? Well, take your pick. Aliens? It's, it's one of two things. It's either a highly advanced, it, well, either an advanced civilization. I don't like to call them aliens because I don't believe in, in that they come from Mars or Venus or Saturn. I think they're older versions of us. But if it's not some sort of advanced civilization, well, then it's the divine and one man's advanced tech is another man's deity. So mm. take your pick. So, but Mark, if this is indeed the case, why would so yeah. many people be in a conspiracy to convince right. us that the Earth is round? Why wouldn't we just go, okay, well, the Earth is a dome? Yeah, that's a good point. Well, and that's a, that's a great question because what we're talking about here, and by the way, I don't think that people had anything to do with this thing. All I'm saying is that the United States government and the Soviet Union figured this in about 1960. Even our best and brightest couldn't figure this out until 1960. And then there comes the question, and I know you as journalists think, oh, you, know, you should tell the people. It's like, oh, don't, don't jump to conclusions because there's three things that could happen. Potentially, all your academia would be turned upside down. Uh, all, all your physical sciences would have to be rebuilt from the round up. Your world markets would have to be suspended for months to figure out where the dust settles. And then, of course, the five religious houses uh, all of a sudden have an advance over science, which they haven't for the last five centuries. That's a lot to take in for a civilization. But science moves on. But, Mark, science does move on. Science is the, the art of science is to look at something, break it down, see if it works, go in different theories. So why hasn't this been worked on before and if you're sure. if what you're saying is true then science will go okay let's prove this theory if the theory proves true then we all move on with the new theory well science takes care of its own you gotta remember science mainstream science and i call it scientism at this point because they've really turned science into its own religion they put the rubber stamp on things they can't prove like carbon dating like the big bang theory like dark matter like evolution and so on and so on but if science has been pushing this for the last five centuries, they've got a vested interest in it. 
from their institution standpoint. It's the foundation of everything that they are. So and they're going to protect it Ma at all costs. Mark, so I don't, I don't blame them. In, in, in flat earth theory, Antarctica is actually an ice wall at the edge of the earth and a group of people are planning an expedition there, I assume, to prove the theory, right? Well, it's a nice idea, and I hate to burst your bubble, but that particular story was spawned from our, because we do Flat Earth conferences, and the conference in 2020 is actually going to be a cruise, but it's leaving out of Miami, and it's just a recreational cruise. Some UK journalist decided to put his own spin on it uh, and said, oh, wouldn't it be great if they wanted, you know, turned it into an expedition? It would be. So there is no plan expedition. I'm oh. sorry. I, I hate to do but surely, that. Surely, now, let me ask another question then, Mark. Surely you, you're getting a lot of money off of YouTube hits. And, and getting this out there and merchandise and getting you get it gathering six million people that's not a small amount of uh, money if you're conducting a business and trying to put something out there couldn't you like uh, Tesla or somebody like that conduct your own experiment by getting into a rocket going up there and having a look for yourself or you know uh, going to the ice well, wall and okay. see if the walkers are there the expedition would be nice, absolutely. But the Antarctic Treaty, which is rock solid and not even up for debate until 2041, keeps just about any authorized expedition from, from happening. So we are stuck with the ground experiments. Uh, long, dis long distance photography, lasers, uh, weather balloons. Take your pick. We do a lot of different experiments. But yes, the expedition would be nice. And as far as money goes, come on. You don't, you don't get into flat earth to make money. Uh, I, in fact, I don't care about fame. I don't care about money. I just want to be right. And I don't make that much money off it yet. Yet. Um, I think you need to get bigger props. We have a much bigger prop <laughs> than you, and therefore I think our theory is better than yours. <laughs> okay. And, and again, if you don't... If, uh, look, I, what I try to tell people is if you... If you don't hate flat earth when you first hear about it, there's probably something wrong with you. Everybody that got into flat earth hated it. I tried to debunk it for nine months, and that is, can you prove the globe in a court of law? And can you do it without using a space agency? And eventually, you are going to run out of threads to pull on, and the only place you're going to have left to turn is this. And by the way, that number of six million people, that is way lower than uh, what you might think. Oh, I don't know where you get the six okay. million from, but it's what way What would you say the number is? What is the number? Oh God, it's got to be over 100 million at this point. We're, we're massive. We, 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 before YouTube tore down its scoreboard, we were more popular than the President of the United States over here when it came to metrics. We beat him in the middle of last summer. Mark, we, we were tracking Mark, we, higher. We, we do we have to go because, Mark, Mark, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but our satellite <sighs> is going to cut you off, yeah. and I'm so sorry. Uh, if you come to Australia, Science. let us know. Come on in, let's have a chat. Yeah, thank you, Mark.